Hello everyone, Vasif here. Just wanted to give you a quick disclaimer here. My settings I'm still tweaking with, learning the recording programs that I'm using. The stream starts to degrade in quality. You get some little bit of lag over the next few episodes of this stream, but I believe I have fixed them for the most part for the following stream that comes after all these episodes. I think there's going to be about six or seven of them, but if you tune in through all of it, I appreciate it. You're always awesome, and hope you enjoy the stream. Hello everyone, Vasif here, and welcome to an episode of Divinity Original Sin 2. Uh, I love this game. I was playing a little bit of it in the alpha. Uh, tried a different couple plays, and uh, the original Enhanced Edition that I got, I got super sucked into, and this one I've been super excited for. I wanted to play it earlier, but had ISP problems, and then tree fell down in my yard, and I still need to deal with that, but... I got my buddy here. Uh, he's going to be joining us very shortly. Uh, we'll probably discuss what we got going on. But pretty much what I'm going for right here is I'm choosing Ifen Ben Mizd, whatever his name is. Um, and I made him a metamorph polymorph dude. I uh, gave him this Conjure incar Incarnate to summon a dude to help. I've never played this class, so I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. Uh, but also Chicken Claw, something to little bit of crowd control here and then bullhorns that just sounds fun um, if I end up not liking uh, summoning or polymorph I may uh, go into the two-handed route uh, so bullhorns would kind of help with that uh, but I haven't actually listened to this origin story I'm super excited stuff is voiced there's undead all kinds of cool stuff uh, what do we got here I didn't choose a talent because once I hit level 2 I want bigger and better so, we'll see if that actually is a smart move or not, but let's listen to the origin story here. Once I was a <coughs> crusader for the Divine Order. I pledged my life to Lucian the Divine. This is awesome. The this war is all changed everything. Whose voice is that? He sent me to save the elves I grew up amongst. I arrived too late. Lucian ordered the use of Death Fog against the Black Ring. Annihilating everyone I once knew in the process. Now I'm a mercenary killer. One of the infamous Lone Wolves. And my next target... ...is none other than Lucian's own son. Ah, oh, that's so cool. They left just enough out of the Alpha to make this amazing. Uh, it's gonna be like playing all new again. Super excited. Me too. And there's Tim. How's it going, buddy? Good, man. How you guys doing? Oh, uh, good. Uh, <laughs> unfortunately, I can't see your screen through mine. So the other one, you could uh, get out of this area, and you would see us side by side. I wonder if it's like that one, this one, or if it just jumps us in. Mine just says waiting right now. Okay, so uh, you ready to go? Maybe when you... I'm ready to go. My cool, let's see what happens. Ready. You still have points to spend. Points also be spent later in the game, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think you showed up for like one hot second. <laughs> this is new. It all happened like I knew it would. A single drop of source magic. Oh god, she's terrifying. And like flies to honey, the monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. And the magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. Sounds like a Disney villain. I was villain. shackled and collared. And sent to Fort Joy. I'd come here to kill Godwoken. But instead I became part of their story. Yeah. 
Yes! I'm so excited! So I think these are all supposed to be the characters, but you have this Polly Shore Sean Penn motherfucker over here on the right. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, cool. Alright. Let me out of my restraints. <laughs> Are we twins? What did they do? <laughs> We kind of look Let's the same, yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Right. Oh, that's tactical camera. Okay. Oh my! These smelling salts are strong stuff. Ah, uh, the voice. I'm so happy. Me too. All right. Let's uh. Ooh, small tome. Steal that. A grinning skull. Need that. Nice haircut, Smiley. Nice haircut. Oh, did smiley. you talk to the the skull over here? Uh. -uh. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was gonna be something I could pick up. Right. All right. Um. I'm gonna see if I can. Yeah. Not too tight, I hope. Go away, lady. Color, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. I want to steal that book. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officers' quarters. Hmm. Yeah, outlaw. Dungeon. You have the gall to call my laboratory a dungeon? Oh, I'd be quite annoyed with you if you didn't look so honestly perplexed. Index fingers pressed to her lips, she pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. <laughs> the narrator! My word, Wonderful. you do seem a bit befuddled, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Oh well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits, most likely, eventually. In the meantime, all you need to know is that we're en route to Fort Joy. A new life awaits. And if you're a particularly good boy, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source. For good. Alright. Did the murderer take him into this room? Looks like someone's hit the Hall of Echoes a little early. Turn around, lady. I want to steal your book. What they made. Oh, I pushed a button. What did I do? Okay. X button opens up. Interesting modes. Okay. I'm a barrel. You see nothing. Did the murderer take him into this room? Or was he already here? Ooh. Boring. Poetry book. Ah! I stole a book and now she's gonna fight me. <laughs> Try to talk your way to the situation. I should have put my points into persuasion. Hold your hand to your stomach and say you're going to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Screw you, I'm not bribing. Ah, uh, wits. Failed! Oh, I'm bummed that this isn't voiced. Oh god, we're fighting! <laughs> Whoops! Oh boy, see this is why you don't <laughs> steal everything. I forgot that it happens! <laughs> and it didn't sir, show the steal button on the book. I stole a body part and she got mad. <laughs> no, don't do that. I promise you don't want to. Can we only punch? Oh, you're faster than me. Yeah. Face kick. We're gonna die. Probably. Yep. Yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> How do we concede? Can I we flee combat? We 
I think there's a. If you run away, you can flee, right? Flee. Oh, look! You can flee combat! Oh, wait. There's enemies nearby. Wow. Alright, I'm gonna run into this next room and <laughs> try to flee. Okay, don't steal body parts. Uh, you ow! Can steal everything. <laughs> Oh, enemy's too close. That's lies. Ah, oh, I just ran into this room for nothing. <laughs> All right. Well, I want to see what this does. Bull horns. Bull rush. What did that do? <gasps> Gave you bull horns. Oh, I got a new skill from activating it. That's cool. All right. Nice. Ow, my face. I'm, I'm gonna die. Yeah, we're gonna die. <laughs> we're gonna have to... We either have to run... You're not allowed to touch anything anymore. I forgot. You're gonna have to keep your hands in your pockets from yep. now on. <laughs> See, they collared the wrong thing. They need to collar my wrist. Oh, at least they didn't get attack of opportunity on you. That one's coming after you, though. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we might just have to reload. Don't steal the arm. Or the source collar that was in there. That's that's a cool Yeah, I'm going to die in like two seconds. Yep. <laughs> I'm going to die, too, because I'm stunned. I can't even do anything. You're in a tight spot. Flee if you wish. Yeah. I couldn't do that. It didn't let me. Load game! <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> I All forgot. Good. I forgot that it's not like the other one where if you stole something you were safe. It's if you steal something and you walk by them, they'll still want to check you out. Ah, you're up. Yes. Looks like that collar fits you snugly enough. Nice haircut, Smiley. Even if I do say so myself. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarter. Don't you dare. Index fingers pressed to her lips. My word. Oh well, I'm sure you'll see a new life away. Looks like someone's hit the Hall of Echoes a little early. Quite the mess they made. I'll need to write to headquarters right away. Civil's talking to me. They don't care if you're one of them. A Divine Order loyal. They killed a sorcerer, you know. They'll hide the evidence well enough, but make no mistake. Oh, I was on mute. Taking all the beers. Greasy key. That sounds useful. Lucky find. She got eaten by a void woken. Forget it. It was one of them. I know it. Oh, oh there you are. Um, husband. Husband? Lois just called me her husband. Would you please tell this very yeah, it's charming part of her deal. gaggle of not at all brat like babes that I am by no accounts this loser woman, nor do I sing, in fact. I'm deathly, deathly allergical. I love her. <laughs> She's How my very favorite. correct you are, spouse of mine. Madam <laughs> Josephine Gribbles de Peeve refuses to be confused with anyone else. What? What's so funny? Her pinched face cracks into a great grin, and she shoos the children away from her with a laugh. 
Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and git, and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good and ready. She turns to you, dark-eyed and dirty-haired, and smiles flatly. Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? You presume right. <gasps> you can ask people to join you on the boat? Nope. Trying not to find anything out either. You can try. Ignorance is bliss. The utterer, the better. Yeah, look, I can uh, ask Losa to join our group. What? Suddenly, her eyes cloud to an unnatural black. Grayish veins run down her face, and her mouth tightens into a cruel sneer. As quickly as they came, the clouds clear. She smiles as though no change came over her. Oh, she's insane. Luck, Chief. <laughs> it was one of them. Where are you? You can ask him to join, but they probably won't. Oh, I didn't try. I didn't know if you wanted her on your team. Where's Sybil? I never even saw her. I said I was talking to her up here. She oh, there you are. Blue. She's right there. Oh, I see it. She just keeps rolling the dice. I can't get out of here. There it goes. An elf sits tucked away in a dark spot, lazily rolling d snake eyes. She I bet that's just what they'll look like. She shakes her head. Game for one, I'm afraid. <laughs> She's so funny. Dice, deciding fates. <laughs> she eyes you quite seriously. <laughs> Not the future, no, but I can read the past in flesh. One of the perks of being an elf, you see. I'm quite good at it, too. I could lick your arm and tell you how you spent the night before last. Ew. Shall I? She could lick your arm. I let her. <laughs> yeah, she I don't know where I was. Vigorous stroke of the tongue. Efficient, like a cat grooming. Hmm. You were in a cellar with other sorcerers. As everyone lay sleeping, it seems you and another elf engaged in an action somewhat similar to the one I just performed. Uh -huh. Only rather more vigorously. Sure. Of course it is. The truth's right there. Skin deep. But don't you worry, darling. Your secrets, I don't lick. I don't lick and tell. I love her. <laughs> she smiles. Just a kitten in a corner. All right. Well, we could try that broken way that I found last time, or we can just go straight into the room. What do you want to do? Okay. Um, I'm talking to the dwarf right now. Okay. He oh. stopped me. <laughs> I haven't even seen him before. He wasn't in. He's the... right in the middle. I'll have to go talk to him. This again. Oh, dude, there's a dagger. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, we probably don't want to attack anything because we don't have any weapons. No, that's a good idea. There's a lot of people with giant swords here, right? and we're, like, half naked, so... Oh, I, I wish I had pet perk. I want to talk to the doggy. You are Jill, aren't you? Bork. Bork, bork. I've come back to you, and you better be ready to talk here. How dare you classify this sloth as food? I've seen more appetizing things coming out of plague-stricken pigs. <laughs> I like there's, the dwarf. He's there's funny. nothing else I can make, Your Majesty. Turnips and water are all I was given. Unacceptable. I've never dined on anything less than a dozen course dinner, and I don't intend to do away with the custom. Well, uh, there has been a murder, Your Majesty. Maybe that has the Magisters more concerned than your appetite. <laughs> don't you get saucy with me when you clearly don't know the first thing about sauce. You! 
Jill, is that right? I have a few questions for you. Namia. Uh, I like her hair. You are Jill, aren't you? By which I you mean spent my Chris. life singing hmm. for my slaves to bring me my supper. Finer fare than boiled roots and rotten tubers, too. Uh, <laughs> stuck up princes and stuff. Meanwhile, the magisters feast on honeyed meat behind this very wall. <gasps> the indignity. She sounds like something from Chowder. Well, well, what have we here? A fresh face in this stale hell. Let's size you up, shall we? See if the lizard looks you up and down, like a farmer would a fetching horse. <laughs> All of a sudden, he grips you firmly by the chin, with the intent of inspecting your teeth. <laughs> yeah, don't grab my, my face. We are fierce, aren't we? Not to worry. I'll soon remedy that. Now then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? Can I cook? Yeah, oh, I, I can't cook. No. And don't even mention the demon's testes that are turnips. On to the second question. Can you knit, weave? In short, uh, tailor? Um, uh, nope. Yes, I can tell from your vagabond chic. A bag is as good as a shirt kind of style. I shouldn't be getting my hopes up. On then to my final query. Have you the ability to administer the upkeep of one's personal appearance? The delicate art of cosmetics is what I'm after. Just as I thought. That explains what's besieging my nostrils. So, three questions asked, three questions answered. As per your own testimony, you have the taste buds of a dung beetle, the fashion sense of a monkey in a clown <laughs> suit, and your personal hygiene reminds one of a carcass rotting in the sun. That won't do at all, see? I'm sad to say I must deny you the opportunity to be my slave. Ever so sorry. Bummer. My slave, of course. Oh, oh, but I see. Yes. I suppose it must take some time for the full extent of my disheartening refusal to sink in. Still, hone your skills, and one day you may just qualify for a position in a lesser household than mine. Alright, Red Prince is a douche. Oh yeah. That's why I never had him on my team, he was always a douche. Man. In the Alpha, I gave him a different voice, so he just kind of sounded oblivious to the world of, that he was being a douche but this one he's like uh -huh. actual douche <laughs> by his, you can tell by his pompous speaking tone all right you ready whenever you are here to register sir good good magister williams is just about done with the last passenger how does he know i'm a sir he has a hood on his eyes you fair and okay so far mm. of course i do Seems Voidwoke can dog your heels like a shadow. That's no way to live, is it? You'll see. We're gonna help you. You head on in oh, now. Yeah. Williams will get you short at fast. Thanks, mate. Rubbish. Look at all this food. Don't mind us. We're gonna take your foods. Pumpkin soup. Wendigo. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> nice name. Oh, can we get in here? Oh. Oh. Alright, fine. Drink some wine, what's it do to me? You're all oh, it healed me. <laughs> wow, You're lucky charm right. plus two. Better dodging, it's like, oh man. <laughs> I 
That's awesome. Junkie Master style. Yeah, exactly. Subdue her, man, quickly! If she casts source, the Void Woken will come. They'll end She smiles with wicked satisfaction. Precisely. Explode a nade. Over. Oh, yeah, no. we could have taken her. I'm on her side. <laughs> no time for chatter. We've got to get out of here. Oh, yeah, let's go see if there's any weapons down here. I found a shiv. And uh, let's see, hang on. What do you use? Uh, I think two handers right now. Two. Let's. Why can't I open my inventory? Hit I. I am. Inventory, I. Uh, there it goes. Oh, my keyboard must have been just lagging out. Here we go. I got a wooden pitchfork. I did that one to you. Yeah. <laughs> so hopefully that helps you out. Oh, did I? Oh, I gotta go grab that. Yo, you grabbed the bedroom. Good, good. I yeah, those things are awesome. Awesome. Oh, did you get this chest? Yeah, okay. that's where I found the. Uh, cool. Items. All right. Was there any other, like, uh, the other magisters? Are they all dead? Maybe they have some Everybody's stuff on them. Everybody's dead. Ooh, they have stuff on them. I hear you're up there with the Kraken. Is the Kraken lagging? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. I will take my leave. <laughs> Alright, I found a... I found a dagger. If you want it. Pocket knife. Oh sure, send it to me. Yep. Send to Ragnar. There you go. And if uh, since that's the dagger, if it's in your primary slot, you get to use your super awesome abilities. Yeah. All right. Let's go check out this kraken. Do Ooh. it. I did not mean to pick up. I thought that was a barrel, but it's a barrel of water. Move this onto the fire. Huzzah! Not long before this thing snaps into oh, the hell. God damn it. Need to get off this wreck. Quick. Alright. Oh, look at the puppy! We have to save him! Oh. Alright. On my single player playthrough, I'm gonna have to do pet per pet perk at the very beginning. I wanna know what these puppies are saying. I'm trying to get in the back here. I forget if someone has a key or if I just broke it down last time. Oh, yeah, just break it down. Huzzah! Obstacles. I could move that. Oh, sick resurrection scroll. Are you going to be? Never mind. I don't know what I was going to ask. Um, I put points into uh, Lore Master. So hopefully I'll be able to help us identify stuff in the future. Cool. Are you talking to someone here? Ricks grabs his sword, which shakes in the rhythm of his trembling hand. The magisters look to each other, then back to you. Your lies end here. Get him! Oh, well, we're fighting. These guys don't like me. You starting to fight, Tim? 
I didn't mean to. I tried to talk <laughs> Well, they're both almost dead. This yeah, take they're, they're not in a happy place. Get him. Get him. I want his weapon. Ow. Alright, we're gonna do... Boom. Well, last time I talked my way out of that. Where does that one ability go? Oh, I can't use it. Why can't I use it? Not use when movement speed is zero. Oh god damn it! <laughs> I'm un I'm encumbered. Oh no! <laughs> oh, can I drop something? Probably. Drop. Oh god! <laughs> Hang on, buddy. Let me just drop some <laughs> blue. I, I can't know. Move. It's like ooh Don't portraits. Get stabbed too much. Those portraits sell for good money. I'm still encumbered? How? Just drop whatever you I can am. and we'll, we'll grab it after we kill these suckers. Okay, I've dropped enough, but it's. I think it holds on to it. Whether or not if I'm still encumbered because I'm in combat. Damn it! Move, dude. Why can't I move? Oh. Alright, fine. Uh. Drop. Still says there you go. Now you're not, not worked anymore. Yeah, you, Jeez. you're good now. Yes, I know that's my hot bar. Go away. I'm going to. That's two. That's two. All right, we're gonna do this. Blam. And then we're gonna do this. Oh, they're both almost dead. I should just poke them. Stab. I should. I didn't check his armor. <laughs> I should have turned him into a chicken. Oh, I couldn't. His armor is too. Or his magic armor was up. Nice. All right. Too bad that I didn't level you up. Right. Suck a punch. Oh, there nice. There we go. All right. That's all I had. Kill him. Stab it to the. Woo. All right. Victory dance. All right. All this shit that I dropped. <laughs> Things worth 150. Oh, that's why. It was the goddamn bust. Heavy as hell. I don't want it. I'll take the <laughs> paintings, though. Oh, they're not worth anything. I have uh, thievery in my. Uh deal so if you have any cool. lock picks I can pick locks. Yeah I'll send them to you. Okay. I got another dagger. If you want it, it's all yours. Man, that quick send to someone is so nice. Stealing all the muns. Ready to 
go when you are. Right. There's uh, people over here we didn't loot. Ooh, there's a bow. I thought I saw a chest. There it is. I'm gonna move this, put this out. Ooh, a key. on the door was painted recently, judging from its pungent scent. You recognize the symbol immediately for what it is. <laughs> a warning of death fog within. You press your palm against the door to open it. The wood feels neither cold nor warm, but simply gray. The color drains from your hand, and you are left numb. It doesn't budge. The door groans open, but an ashen shadow clouds your mind. Oh. Cracking peoples. I'm talking to Fane right now. Oh, he found him. Yeah. Deathlock. I need to get out of here now. I'm assuming Deathfall kills him. <laughs> Whereas you, I believe, have lifeboats to pointlessly squabble over. I believe you did. Although I had a mask rather ingeniously designed, which allowed a mask that was stolen by that damned witch. Still, she'll drown with the rest of these fools, and I will simply pluck my mask from her cold, dead hands. Indeed. Just as sensible as getting off a sinking ship and leave. I would say good day, but the skeleton shrugs casually. <laughs> okay. Up, up, up the stairs we go. Ow. Ow. Oh, that wasn't me. I know, I thought that was me too. It's like, well, there's big things out there, go back down the stairs. <laughs> yeah, uh, no, I'm done. Let's get horny. Lamb. Oh, my own. I, oh, I thought I killed him. I was like, that's awesome. Oh, he's just out of my reach. Oh! Neat. Let's try this. Rawr! <laughs> I have a little gross oh thing! Oh god, that's awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Rawr! Get him! Get him! Ooh, what's this do? Provoke. Oh, it's a taunt! That is awesome. It is a tank. That is neat. He's probably just really crappy at it. Rawr! Well, Everyone attack him! Lives, so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is fantastic! This is awesome. Oh yeah, he's gonna die. That's one of the best abilities at adrenaline. Yeah. I'll... Oh, yep. Teleport back, Zab. Schmexy. Nice. Oh, my little gross guy goes before me. <laughs> I'm so slow. <laughs> I'm going again. <laughs> oh, he died. Nice. Wait a minute. Oh my god, I can control my void link. <gasps> Look it. That's awesome. Oh, dude, he's a freaking scout. That's so cool. All right, how do I make... That is cool. I don't want to control him anymore. There we go. <laughs> All right, let's pick this up. I'm going to go 
put this fire out. No, don't move like an idiot. Your fire means nothing. Oh, we need another barrel. Oh, do you need a heal? Oh yeah, she probably should. There, there you go. go. Bed roll. I'm just gonna run across the fire. You guys got messed up, huh? Oh, I got a wand. Yanks at one of the nearby ropes to no avail. You said there were other people down there. We we need to help them. You see those tentacles, kid? It's time for getting the hell out of here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. There's a ladder right over there. You're gonna be the death of us, you hear? We have to go find everyone now. Yeah. The magister lies on the floor, unconscious and bleeding from a dire-looking wound. My book now. Oops. Need to check a setting real quick. Stream, stream is lagging a little bit. Oh no! Not quite sure. Not quite sure yeah, why. You just wait till they all die, and then you can wait, take their stuff. Yep. my turn just to get over there. Ah! Go little gum thing. Spanks him. Yeah. Hmm. Let the games begin.
Yeah. That was awesome. Man, my little imp guy is freaking fast. It's probably because he has no life. Alright. Nearest bad guys. Those are gonna be dead soon. Ah! It always defaults to taking control of your minion after oh, a combat. Weird. It's kind of obnoxious. I wonder if there's a setting or something for that. <laughs> Namia died. That's a bummer. I wonder if that means she's actually gonna be dead when we get to Fort Joy. Who? Uh, the other dragon chick. Oh. So uh. what is it? Yeah, she's dead. She's dumb anyways. I don't think you can do anything with her. You, you could find her in the cellar. She's like whining. That's about it. Oh, now she'll talk to us. Blood pours out from around the bandage. Magister Siwan reaches out to you, her hand flailing. It's working. The pressure is stemming the flow of blood. Siwan <laughs> clutches your arm, her eyes locked with yours. Something within the ship snaps. The floorboards shudder. Siwan struggles to her feet, clinging to you tightly. The ship lets out a deep groan, then cracks. Oh no, it's happening. Oh god. No. I tried to save C1 and I couldn't. This is him! She's going down. She's going down! I think we are twins, we just said the same thing. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, that thing looks awesome. That is cool. I want one for a pet. Maybe I can summon one of those later. <laughs> there you go. That's your little buddy. That's what he grows into. A kraken. I have plans for you, child. Rise. Obi-Wan? Right? <laughs> <laughs> Old ben? ben? No. Ben. Honorable Dallas, we lost a ship sailing sorcerer prisoners to Fort Joy. We assume some escaped and broke their collars. There. Vile magic lured the Voidwoken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity. High Judge Orivan.